So <clears throat> today I wanted to talk about um, campaigns, sort of in general, um, but then make this 12 month newsletter campaign. So if you wanna keep in contact with um, prospects in your database that aren't necessarily like answering you, but you still wanna be in their inbox at least once a month, this is a great way to do it uh, with campaigns that Weikert has already made. So you can build it and then send it out to everybody. So in case you don't know, from my Weikert in marketing, you can head to Smart Campaigns. And then this one will be in your um, campaign library later today, but it's called newsletters and then newsletters for a year. So to build the campaign from scratch, you can click add campaign and then you have to fill in all the info. So I like to do campaigns via hashtag. So when somebody is hashtag newsletter, um, then this campaign will be triggered for them and it will start um, whenever we ask it to start. You can do that you don't wanna start trigger and just by going into your CRM, you can start people on campaigns um, individually, but this sort of makes it easier. Um, always run. If you say yes, it means every piece of your campaign will go out to this person. So if you have like your first email goes out and they don't answer you, then they'll get the second email. But if you do no, you send out an email and they do answer you, then the campaign will stop because it's outreach waiting for them to answer you if you say no, if that makes sense. Um, all right, so then next, this campaign is designed for, um, it could be buyer and seller because the newsletters are sort of generic like that. Campaign name, newsletters, I'm gonna actually write January start and I'll explain why in a little while. And then you could also remind yourself to always run, press next and then finish. So the way I was taught is that a campaign is like um, a tortilla and then everything inside the templates are um, fillings. So the campaign is like a burrito. <laughs> So when you go here, your campaign is here, but it's not full. So obviously if you start somebody on this campaign, they're not getting any emails or newsletters, but that's when you go here and you say add action. And then you can look up um, our newsletter templates. So the monthly newsletters that Weikert has made all have dates on them and as you can see, they're in alphabetical order, so it's sort of annoying because it's April, August, December, February, et cetera. So the first one we want is our January one, and it's from you, the agent, to them, the contact. And you could either run it immediately, so as soon as they're put on the campaign or as soon as that hashtag is added to them in the CRM, then this campaign will send out our, the first email. Or you can do, uh, minutes, hours, days, so like 15 minutes after you put them on the hashtag, then they'll get the first email. Uh, this is this happens like during our open house app, so they sign up at the open house and then it's like four hours later, they get the thank you email. But usually for a campaign, I do run immediately, at least for the first one. Um, oh. So then you have to give it a name, name it January, because that is our first email. And then to add a second one, this one would be February. Again, look up our uh, newsletter, scroll down to the dated ones, and then February, again, agent to contact. And then our time unit is 30 days because 
they'll get our January one immediately, and then next month they'll get our February one. So I've heard that KV Core is changing this, and we will eventually be able to write like send this out on February 5th or March 5th, which is great because this can get a little confusing, but I'll keep you informed whenever that happens. So then again, we go back to this campaign, which we already built. And as you can see, first one goes out immediately in January, second one, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. And then um, I did just sort of fill in based on there from last year, <clears throat> the ones that are dated. Um, so if you want to, you can go in and you can preview and you can see, this is the January one. It does say new year, new home, and it does say 2021. So that's one thing to look out for that I saw in this campaign. January's says 2021, and then I believe it's month five. This is the only other one that's sort of not generic. So it does say Memorial Day is fast approaching. So we can either go in and edit the template or we could just um, edit this guy. And instead of doing this January campaign, newsletter, I believe it's January 28th. That is the more generic one. So we've updated month one now should be, yes, a more generic January campaign from last year. Um, all righty. So in order to actually have people hop on this campaign and get it, one thing you do have to make sure you do is campaign active. And you can do that here, um, or you can do it via smart campaigns here. Look up your newsletter. And then right here is your toggle on and off as well um, to turn it on. And then we head to our smart CRM. And mine takes forever. So then one at a time to add somebody. Oh wait, we don't want. Irma, we want me. Okay, so right over here is our active campaigns and we could add this person to our newsletter campaign right here. So add, and then they will get our month one um, email immediately, which is our January campaign. And then 30 days from now, they'll get February, et cetera. So again, with the only problem is that you can't do like send this on January 13th. Um, so if you do want to do newsletters for a year for a lot of people, then you can make one here and name it newsletters January start, like I did with the, the first one that we showed. And then you can make another one, delete this email and do February start. So it's a bit of a pain, um, but if you create all 12 essentially campaigns now, then anytime someone's added to your CRM, you can just automatically start them on the campaign for the month that they're in right now, if that makes sense. Um, does anyone have any questions so far? Good morning, Katie. Hi. Uh, just a small question. Uh, like you said, if I, if I already have a 12 month campaign, done and if i let's say if i'm doing it maybe on the 15th of every month mm -hmm. so if if i add a person um let's say on the 10th he will still get it on 15th even if i add him or will he start getting it on the 10th because you said as soon as we add he'll get the email yeah so if he's added on the 10th and it says immediately then he'll get it on the 10th and then 30 days from that day He'll get the second one. Oh, so others will keep getting it on 15th and he will keep getting it on 10th? Yes. And if I don't say immediately, then in five days, he'll get the first one. 
I'm sorry? On the 15th. If I don't say immediately in the time, then he will also, even, even though I add him on the 10th, he will start getting it on the 15th. Um, it depends like when you put him on the campaign. So this one, no, I mean, go ahead. If I don't say run immediately, then he will get it whenever the next it is scheduled, right? Let us yes. say I put it, my campaign is going out on 15th. I put him in on 16th or maybe 20th. So he will get it next month, 15th. If I don't say run immediately. Yes, so the first one that you put on, um, if you wanted to, you could do days or hours from like adding that hashtag to him. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. Yep, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions yet? <laughs> All righty. Um, so like I said, this newsletter will be in everybody's um, uh, campaign library once I add it uh, later this afternoon. So if you do want to change anything, if you go into it, you may see that it doesn't say edit because I'm making it so I have the ability to edit. So if you want to go in, you can do clone campaign. Uh, and then again, you could do your own hashtag. You can do when the lead is new, um, things like that. Always run if you want them to get all 12 months worth. And then you can do design for all. You can do design for just buyers and sellers. And then you can rename your campaign here. So like 2022 newsletters, um, January start. And then your description, newsletters for a year. You could change that as well. So then once you clone your campaign, it's in your library and you can change anything and it won't change on the, the main one if you don't want it to. So if you wanna change different newsletters, if you go into the template library and see something better, or if you go into the template library and actually make your own, you could do that as well. So again, you can go to smart campaigns, templates. And then, so they were coming out every other week um, last year. They're probably gonna still do that this year as well. Um, so there should be like two per month. So if you don't like the ones that are in there now, you can scroll down to the dated ones and you can see that there's usually at least two a month um, that you could swap out in your 12 month um, newsletter campaign. And then if you do wanna make your own, you could add a template email and then create your own message. Um, and if you do like one of these, like, this January one, but again, it's from last year. So it does say 2021. You can go in here and you can clone it. And then you have the ability to edit and then change those 2021s to 2022s. And then you can go back in here and add that particular one to your uh, campaign. All righty. I hope that made sense to everybody. <laughs> um, if you do have any questions, you can always call or email me. Um, and if you do want to make a campaign from scratch in any other way, um, like particularly for buyers or sellers, if you have like blog posts and things that you want to post to them regularly, um, we could always create that for you too. All righty. So if there are no other questions, I can stop our record.